Hi everyone, this is the Duke Parenting Podcast. My name is Brian Suleiman. And my name is Linda Ijafo Suleiman. And we have our friends here. Woo! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See, that's why they're here. Welcome. I promise. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Dual Parenting Podcast with myself, Ibrahim Suleiman, and, and Linda Ijafo Suleiman. And contrary to people who say that we don't have friends, we have friends yes. because we have we have friends. Bola. <laughs> And, and Segi Ogido. Ogido. How are you doing? How are you doing, everybody? <laughs> Director in your no, face. And um, um, so you say the difference. Yes, herself and ah. Deji. Hmm. Why is it that we don't have friends? Well, That's why we, we keep bringing we so keep bringing the same people on. Came here and, was, and the person has been here for the third time, and they were like, "Third time." <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It's your friend. So the guests that came before you guys, guess what? A family member of that other friend. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happens that he's also a friend of ours. Yes, so, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Bia Roba are here as well. They're friends um, too. Um, Wendy and Wendy Wari. and Wanri. They're friends. That's the end of it. Like, <laughs> then others? a few, a few others. <laughs> No, but and the, baby. Yes. They are friends. friends. I know, but this, I want, I'm, I'm talking about the repeat offenders. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, it's so good to see you. Lovely we actually you. haven't yes. seen you guys in a, a couple of months. Yeah, I think it was last time was at the... I my birthday. birthday. Okay, that's yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay, it's not that... Oh, man. It's it was like two months. months. Yeah. yeah. Almost literally two months. Mm. What have you been up to? Besides being nosy together mm. because these two <laughs> what? Nasty, nasty what? like rabbits what do you mean? I swear to god you guys are like rabbits my parents oh my will be goodness. watching this I, they better be watching this they're not supposed to know that I'm doing that oh so it's immaculate conception <laughs> yes you know, for, I'm wow. like Mary That's right up. yeah hi okay. Joseph okay. <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> but it's serious no, what have you guys been up to We've been well. We just came out from a really brilliant holiday. Holiday, IGG. holiday, holiday, holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I'm so it was just fun. But it's, it's like, been like the summer wants... holidays, you know. And with the boys, you just have to kind of keep it busy. Yeah. Otherwise, they will drive you insane. Yep. Huh. So, what yep. are we doing today, mommy? What are we doing today, daddy? Are we going anywhere? Well, do you know? After they went on holiday, the day after, jo- no joke, my youngest Idara was start. Um, he started packing his luggage and was like. We're flying tonight, right? <laughs> oh my God. Was like, uh, to go to where? He was like, to go on holiday to the UK. Because normally every summer, well, that's where you yeah. guys go, we go right. back. So, and when I told him that, no, we're not traveling to the UK this year. He looked at me like, Is it a joke? Are now? you joking? Are you? Okay, so where are we going? <laughs> he was <laughs> Adam and he was like, he we was are going somewhere. Going somewhere. <laughs> and I was but, but like, you just came um, back from somewhere. I'll speak to daddy about <laughs> it and go back to oh, you. Oh, you that daddy. Yeah, oh yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, how so, old are your kids? Eight and six. Eight and six. The first one turned six yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Eight. 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 Uh-uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We know that. your mm-hmm. child more mm-hmm. than we know your child. Just sleep it well. Don't worry. No, it's, it's I'll, I'll take over from here. <laughs> <laughs> so turn from this point eight, on, eight, eight years today. <laughs> well, I will field all the questions. Second, any, smile and pretty. Any factual questions? <laughs> He's the engineer. I'm the creative. I can add rainbows eight and, and colors. Six. Yeah. yeah. How, how? 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 What's that like? Ah, mm-hmm. Wait! Wait! No! 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 no. Wait. No, because I was going to say, oh, now it's brilliant. But no, it's always been brilliant. It's just, you know, different stages. Mm-hmm. And different this, stages. I'm, I'm really enjoying this stage, just right. to put it that way. Because, okay. you know, they, gr- they're, well, grown-ish. Uh-huh. Ish, yeah. And um, just having conversations with them, mm. I find it so fascinating. The questions they ask you, you know, when they learn something new and that, to, like, wonder in their eyes. And then, you know, they want to find out more. And then I particularly enjoy going on holiday with them. Mm. Especially going back to where we've been before. No, no. Okay. Because we went on the trip with Kyo lately. <laughs> it was not fun. Bro. Let's just go. Going, it it's, coming no, back. No, no. It's more seeing the wonder in their eyes. Yeah. When they this was stuff. no wonder. This was screaming. <laughs> no. That was your holiday. This is our holiday. Wow. No, but it's because 
yeah. now they're the age they are. Of Correct. course, you know, when we went through twos, threes, four, it, I did, didn't, I didn't, didn't really enjoy holiday. holidays right, with yeah, the yeah. boys because it was screaming and mm. tantrums and I'm tired, you know. But now they're excited to go to places. They're excited to experience new things and just, you know, tailoring the holiday to what they want to do. Yeah. I right. actually really enjoy it. I have a lot of fun, you know. I mean, you are just a big baby. <laughs> I, am, I am just a big baby. <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's truly amazing because it, it also helps in terms of when you are trying to figure out what you want to do because yeah. they almost guide us. So they're like, daddy, we want to see this or we want to see that. And then you can start figuring out your holiday from there. Right. Like, so if you now wanted to, like they're learning some things at school, mm. they're yeah. like, oh, we want to go see the Eiffel Tower or something. Mm. It's like, okay, maybe let's start saving for Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Going to go next. And then you start looking at, okay, what else can you do in these locations? Yeah. So they're at that age where they're asking more questions, which you actually want to learn about yourself. Mm-hmm. It's not just mm-hmm. ABC, one, two, mm-hmm. three mm-hmm. kind of thing. So it's actually a really interesting age. Sweet. It really is. And I'm learning a lot through them as well. Like I learned what Pangea was. Can you imagine? I didn't know what Pangea was. What What's is Pangea? Pangea? You see? Well, because mm. I have a little bit of a six Don't rub it in. Now I know what Pangea is. Now I know what Pangea is. Did you know what Pangea is? I'll take that take question. That. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that question. <laughs> What's Pangea? Well, just, uh, former supercontinent. So... Back, oh, right. way back in the day. Exactly. Uh, when right. the right. Right. Yeah. Before the continental drift and the continental splits, like all the continents were together on this supercontinent called Pangaea, which is why if you, you can fit all the yeah. continents together like a jigsaw puzzle, because yeah. they all started off in the same place. And then tectonic plates and tectonic activity made them move apart. Oh. Now I learned this in schooling, Back in the day, they need to train my own school. Yeah, but then you have to. But, but, school too. But, but, <laughs> but then, <laughs> but, <laughs> but did you know what it was called though? Did no, they so tell you it was called Pangea? I, I, yeah. so, so as soon as he said, you know, um, you talked about how I, did, I just remembered, remembered all it. that. Yeah. But then I, I, ne- I was never told that it was called Pangea. It was Pangea. called Pangea, yeah. But you see, how we even got on that topic was because the kids were asking us about dinosaurs. Right, right, and right. that was when, and then they like they saw something, they watched some video on YouTube. They're like, "Daddy, so what is Pangea?" So me, I had to go and quickly go and research it. But they're at that stage now where they know that we go to Google. Mm-hmm. So if so we don't know, Google, yeah, we no, 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 it's okay. You can they're cheeky about it. So like, if we don't know, like we're not knowing something. Well, we don't know. They'll say, "Would you like to Google that, Daddy?" And we're like, "Hey, God." <laughs> They have caught us. Babe, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually worse with me now. The way to your um, like. Well, the way he asks me, he goes, Mommy, could you please ask Google? What? I'm like, yo. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> in a way, ask, in a way. I actually know. In yeah. a way, you're proud that they know where yeah, you can find like resources yeah. to find information. However, but I also feel a bit offended that like. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the cleverest like, exactly. woman in life. Give me a exactly. moment to no. try and figure it out before right? you ask me to go and Google it, boy. Well, exactly. yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, now you know that, you know, it's, there's well, no, school fees there's no are need working. to form, like, you know it all. So, two boys. No. Yeah. It's so, two better than one. Ahem, because Bola was saying earlier that, you know, having two is easier than, Baba, I, I'm not buying it, man. It is. Yeah, just telling us, I should agree and have two boys. I'm not sure I have, yeah. <laughs> not, no, I have a girl. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> two boys, yeah. A girl. Okay. Think about it. Like, I asked the question. Wow. 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 No, so so they will not when, your with one, <laughs> with one now, when you think about it, they're always demanding your time. Mommy, daddy, I want to play. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do the other. By the time you have two, once they get old enough, even when Idara was was very young, mm-hmm. was you could see him. Vi- he was always vibrating because he wanted <laughs> to play with his older to. brother. Yeah. So as soon as they could play together, that frees you up so mm. much. So yeah, it's not as easy at that beginning stage, but mm. very quickly by like two, two and a half, three, mm-hmm. like they're on their own. Like So you can literally leave them to their own devices and you yeah. guys have your time back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because and now, so, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Because now Kion has started entertaining himself mm. by himself. So yeah. he's, you can hear him, you know, doing different voices for the different toys that oh. have in the conversation. Yeah, he's building stuff. He said, let's build a tower. And then he starts to do all of that. So he, he, I've, I've had situations where I have a meeting and I'm doing my thing. And then he's in the living room mm. upstairs. So I, the door is open so I can still hear him. Yeah. And I have my one and a half hour meeting and Kion is by himself mm. doing his thing. And mm. he doesn't. So that's great. So I can see how that works when he now has someone else to do it with. Yep. However, comma, <laughs> you see that like, 
18 mo- six to 18 months mm. before you know the little one starts to run mm-hmm. around and bam. Um, I don't think. Yeah. So one thing I would caveat is it's the biggest step up because my sister now has three, mm. and she said the biggest step up is one, one to two. To two. Mm. Once you've had, once you have two, then adding more is like, so, so yeah, it's, guys, it's easy. Are you guys easy breezy? Are you guys adding? That's the desire. For real? I can't, I can't see that. Only Seki that answer. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Is the way she always calls you, you know what he has said? No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe he did. He did that. He did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I do that. Maybe. Oh, you do it too. I do it too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. If God was. Oh yes. my gosh. <laughs> as, as the Lord will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know, they always say that it's 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 the women who decide if they're going to have more children, not us. Jeez. Not always, Baba. No, always. no, there's no, there's some guys who obviously have a desire to have men. No, I mean like you know when the woman says she wants money, and man says no, we're done. Oh yeah, it's not yeah, our choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're no, just the we're just the tool in the process. Yes, I understand. Yeah, that. Okay. I agree. Hashtag so, moving on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's Before go we now get into why. trouble at all, yeah. yeah. this, this conversation is landing us in some. Let's mm. go into why we are here. <laughs> so, my darling, it took me a while. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So. So let me just let me rat out. So Yoma had no idea that you are a warrior. Mm-hmm. Like she had no that's on the, before we get into this, what are the proper terms to use? Let's just start educating each other and the whole the audience <sighs> and everybody. What are, I know it's a lot. But bef- okay, you know, let me just quickly finish this, yeah. this story. Mm-hmm. So she had no clue, right? And then I was like, oh, yeah, no, you know, she is. She was like, no, it's not, but no. Ah. She's she always energetic. So much energetic. And all like, I was like, like, yeah, because, you know, a lot of the time when you meet people like that, because of every all the pain and everything they've gone through, they take life a lot more passionately than the rest of us who are privileged to not have to do, go through all of that. She was like, no, I don't believe you. And everything. I was like, are you kidding? Now, she's not the only person who was shocked when that conversation came, came director here too. You were shocked, shocked as well. She was shocked as well. Yeah, and I'm she like, just found out today. Are you serious? Most people do not oh. know. So hi guys, <laughs> my name is Segulaki John, and I have sickle cell anemia. Oh, shocker! <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, and, and it. it's it's one of the it. it's one of the most endearing things about, about you. you. Yeah. Mm. yeah, the fact that you take life so like on the nose, like you're yeah, like you know what I'm living this life yeah. and I'm living it, you know, as fully as I can. Yeah. So. Well, but also, I think me, the person that didn't know. Mm-hmm. But also, I think <laughs> of, like this year, which we'd also have in conversation, is about how the perception that we have in our head as what we assume. Mm. That's why that if a warrior would behave like or look like all of mm. us. So mm. you just assume, oh, I, I know it can't be you mm. now. And yeah. Is that um, also that kind of. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Fair. Yeah. 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 It is. Um. Well, in terms of terminology, yeah. honestly. I haven't really thought about that, interestingly. And I think it's because in the UK, they don't call you a sickler. That's yeah. just a Niger thing. Okay. Um, it's really funny because the last time I heard that term was when I was a kid and that was when I was here. And then before, you know, moving to the UK was like, oh, she has sickle cell anemia or she's anemic. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And then when we moved back and someone was like, oh, are you a sickler? I was like, what is that? Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm not a sick <laughs> It's just such, it just has such a negative connotation. Yeah. Because yeah. to me, when someone says, oh, are you a sickler? I just imagine you being constantly uh, Yeah, just sickly. Sick. Yeah. And I'm not sickly, you know? I don't, I mean, I don't know many um, people who are anemic, but they are not sickly like mm. that, you know? Yeah, sometimes we have crises. Yeah. Oh, you know, people go through, it's like, I mean, I don't want to like, you know, um, minimize. minimize it because it is flipping painful. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, even if I didn't have this, um, I would go through seasons where I probably have flu mm. or pneumonia mm. or, you know, I break my, you know, like anything could happen. But it's just this is my own condition. Right. I sometimes get pain in mm. my body when I'm overly stressed out, dehydrated or overworked, you know, those are, right. those are the triggers for me personally. Mm-hmm. Some other people, they have, you know, 
oh, their own triggers so, as well. Oh, yeah, real? different people have different triggers. Yeah. Really? So yeah, so in the UK, um, and also where you are, depend. You know, it depends on where you are. In the UK, <laughs> it's cold. Pants. No, but it's true. In the UK, it's cold. It's cold. Yes, that's the first thing yeah. that would trigger, you know, a crisis. And then um, after that, it was stress. So if I knew, and I learned how to manage those over the years, you know, here it's malaria. Mm. And stress. Mm. The yeah. stress level here is it's it's very high. Yeah. Fam. Yo. <laughs> it says yo. <laughs> Literally, when we got back from Dubai last week, I was like, babe, my body is allergic to Nigeria. <laughs> I decided. <laughs> she said she has decided. Because in Dubai, I was like, oh, buzzing, full buzzing, of buzzing, life, buzzing. energetic. I was we had, we were at the palms. I was going on water ride for goodness <laughs> sake. And I was like, yeah, my heart, I am pure, but I had fun. <laughs> It was great. And then we go back. And then we go back and then I'm in pain. And I'm like, yeah. no, baby, it's, it's I've decided. It's nature. But yes, I think I there's there's sure. different degrees of, you know, stress and sickliness that people might have. Just like there's mm. different degrees of any type of, of issue that people might have. Yeah. And so I think it's quite grating on people that have sickle cell anemia to be defined by certain like words, like mm. being defined as a sickler. Sickle is not how you'd want to be defined. It's yeah. like, no, that's not me. Mm -hmm. It's something that I have. Yeah. Like I assume mm -hmm. that's kind of part of why when people say, what's the right terminology to use? Mm -hmm. It's, well, is there really a right one? It's more, okay, yeah, you have- You've got this condition. You have this condition. Mm -hmm. That's on, it. Right? Like it's not like there needs to be a label or right. anything specifically right. that has to help mm -hmm. people understand that Oh, you're not quite like me, mm. and but we do pretty much everything. I just have this other condition mm. that might be, and like it's and it's an education. That, yeah. It's an educational process for yeah. me as well, right? Like because oh, for real, yeah. No, Wait, how long have you guys been together? Eleven years. No, no. married. Eleven. No, I mean, eleven. Eleven. Married. Eleven. Said together because I knew 13, married, 11. 13, 14 years. Fourteen. Fourteen years. Fourteen years. Yeah. And hey, okay, yeah. don't yeah. <laughs> carry on. Yeah, <laughs> guys are not serious. <laughs> but it's one of those things that. Your parents, like my parents, were also really like, are you sure you want yeah. to do this? Yeah. Mm. Because, yeah, because what's, what's your genotype? Mm. As it turns out, yes. Can you imagine? So, and so I say as it were, turns as out. As it turns out. Yeah. Because when we were dating. We didn't know that. Oh, However, yeah. we did check. He was AA. He, so he's AA on his That's birth the, certificate. Thank you. Wait, was and that done was, in Nigeria? No, he was born in Essex. It, no, no. So how was, did it get that mixed up? Because, because in my mind, in Nigeria, they usually do that I don't know if they like check this, like if they checked it. I don't know. Like, but mm. it was pretty clear throughout when I, or it was told to me throughout my entire life that your genotype is AA. Hey, hey. hey, yeah. And so when we found out that I was AS, it was like, ah. And we okay. found out when I was pregnant with Tio. Yeah. <gasps> so it was a bit late. To be quite, like, yo, sorry, yeah. <laughs> let's go our separate ways. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it was a shocker for the both of us. But it's also an out. interesting one because I don't know whether my decision for me personally would mm. have been different. Different, yeah. I mean, at that Knowing point, it. Mm. Like, Maybe I think early on in the relationship. It was really early. Yeah, Who knows, we would have been right? like, yo, do you know what? Yeah. But for, at least for me, I'll be like, I don't want to give birth to any kids. That will go. Yeah. What you're going so to. I really like you. Like, I fancy you. However, Come on. I cannot. Yeah. Mm. Either that or we would go the IVF route, you know. Yeah, like, possible. You know, and so your the, and your, your yeah. reason for that Gene was selection. because you knew what you were going through and you didn't yeah. want to put another your child. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And for me, throughout my life, I've always been like, it ends with me. Mm. It ends with me. That's it, you know. Um, right. Yeah. And I'm the only one out of all my eight siblings that has it. No way. <sighs> Just you. Just You're me. special, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I, I tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so how... Bola, yeah. Bola was saying... Yeah, Bola. Mm. You're saying, you know, that it's an educational process for you as well. Oh, yeah, because I never dated with dated anybody that had sickle cell. I didn't know that much about it, even though my dad. Sorry, go on, baby. Ooh. Hey. That's not true. I didn't Apart hear from what that one. She said because, because all his girlfriends were white. Apart from that one. <laughs> that that one is not you. Yeah. Just but the point being that, um, yeah, my dad had a younger brother who had sickle cell. Oh, um, so yeah. he knew what his younger brother went, went through. through and he had it bad, yeah. like much, much worse than like a lot of other people who have sickle cell might have it. So, mm -hmm. and also it was again, earlier back in the day. Exactly. So a lot of like medical, like exactly. everything has moved on. Yeah. 
So I think living with sickle cell now is pretty different mm. to how it would have been back then yeah. as you know, medical technology is improving mm. and things like that. So, but still like, it's not something that is generally talked about because mm -hmm. it's not a huge percentage of the population that will have yeah. sickle cell mm -hmm. that we would know, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so mm -hmm. not everybody sort of is aware, like and as you're growing up. not everyone is willing to talk about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm so It's taboo, that right? Like, it's because of that sickler association. Yeah. 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 And so like, I mean, for me, um, words are very powerful. So I feel like once you, you know, call someone a sickler, they- it become sickly. Take, exactly. You know, so I just know that all my life I've been rejecting. It's, it's to the point where I didn't used to go for the um, sickle cell meetings in the UK because every time I went there, it just felt like everyone felt sorry for themselves. They just wanted- um, Sympathy. Sympathy. And they just wanted benefits from the government. Right. You know, no one really wanted to like put in the work. And I was just like, I am- I am not going to be that person that sits at home and just expects the government to give me money, give me a flight, give me a car, and then not do anything with my life. I've, I've always been like that. So I stopped going there. My dad asked me, he was like, but it's supposed to be like a support system. I was like, no, they're not supporting each other, dad. They're kind of just like, mm. I don't know. And, and just, that might not be the intention, like, no, but that's no, just how not. it made, it, that's just that's how, how it made her feel. Yeah. Like it just felt like people were, like you told me, like, people were just, they'd given up. Yeah, or like, they yeah. were like, my life is, it is what it is mm. kind of thing. Whereas you can still live your life. Yeah. And I was, you I know, was what? 16, if, 17 yeah. at the time. I was like, no, nah, I've got plans. You exactly. Know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so almost the way we talk about it, the way people like talk about sickle cell needs to change. Mm. Like, and maybe people need to be more open with whether you have it or not. Like, but again, like it's a, it's a problem in industry, right? Like, because- yes. If you yeah. let someone know that you have sickle cell, you like, might. Ah, yeah, not exactly. Sense, not on, ah, exactly. Should exactly. not get held up. Ah, I get you. So Which, has and that ever. The, it's, I'm so thankful to God that it's never affected my work. And I mm -hmm. pray that it never does. Mm -hmm. um, there was someone you told me that had it that I was shocked as well. Oh, right, 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 right. That's true. So <gasps> if I'm shocked. A lot of, people <laughs> of course, everyone is shocked that. Yeah. Oh, so you have it? <laughs> yeah. Um, and the thing is, and the thing is, I've never um, broached the subject with her because mm -hmm. I know how I feel when, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm just when like, if just, she doesn't yeah. tell me. It's fine. Yeah. Waiting consign me, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And um, so I've just left it at that. But because of the industry as well, I always make sure that, okay, health wise, you, take care of yourself. you know, I yeah. take care of myself, especially just before going on set. Mm. That's what you know. That my big pink water. That's why I have that water, have so that I have too. exactly food wise. That's why you know I'm a little bit more particular about what I eat. So you you, you used to be um, vegetarian. Yeah, right? I yes, I did. Um, now I eat meat. <laughs> I do. Like <laughs> <meat>. <laughs> 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 Yeah, a bad guy. Hey, bad guy. She started it. She started it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. You're aware. She started it. Okay, so. Guys, let's focus. Let's focus. We're here to talk about the children. You forgot to say that. Yeah, but you're not a bad guy. Yeah. I hate it. So let's go back. Let's go back. So, how. Can I. Oh, yes. my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, the one that distracted us too, but yeah, the one that was too. <laughs> but we've all laughed. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Moving on, moving on, moving on. It's okay. It's so okay. you mentioned that you found out that you were AS when you had when Theo. You were so yeah, um, when you were pregnant with Theo, is Theo AS? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and um, and he's just, so strong. So thank goodness. <laughs> what about um, Idara? Idara? He's SS. He's SS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you feel? Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, Oh, crap. <laughs> and he's so. Yes. I, must, I must mention See, that first of all, they're, they're, no, wait, wait. Both their of them. boys are beautiful. No, you know, <laughs> they have they are fine boys, and then they are beautiful boys. Their boys are beautiful. <laughs> Right. Like Keon. But stop. <laughs> but you see, Dara, that boy is going to cause things to happen. In this you, know, you know, you want Listen. to say, I've been praying for people's daughters. <laughs> I'm like, Fera. Boys. No heartbreaking, Jesus. Amen. He will be a good before, man. Before I yeah, met so. Idara, I've been told that he doesn't really smile or, mm. you know, Yes, be babe. Don't be he's proud. Don't be proud. <laughs> I know where you're going. I know where I'm heading. I, yes, of we course know. I do. So he's very, oh, don't talk to me. Don't yeah, touch me. Yeah, he just broods all over but the place. But I went to, Segi, went to see Segi on this particular 
beautiful day. Oh my God. And Idara and Theo, they were there. And I got in, and Idara's eyes just, you know how those cartoons that you just see love eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Literally like Disney eyes. And the next thing I know, he's hugging your wife. <laughs> I was like, has he met you before? She said, this is the first time I meet him. I said, it's a lie. Amazing. This boy that does not, he Hmm. Yeah, so he has Yeah, I'm a keep an eye on that man. Yeah, 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 Please do. Because I'm struggling with Keon already. <laughs> they just want to ask, how many people have I going to be fighting with? Please, it's me that married to Yellow. <laughs> No oh, sense. but he's such he's a such sweetheart. A, he's a he is. You have you you both have amazing boys. So, oh God. Um, how did you feel, both of you, when you found out? Did you have did you to wanna... do a test before or after? We, if I remember correctly, we didn't want to know till after, mm. because yeah. the decision was whether he has or not is We're not going to change. Him, yeah. yeah, like, but we were praying that he, he didn't. Mm. Um, and when we found out he did. Um, like I'll allow you to, to to say how you felt. In my mind, I mean, the way I think is very problem solving. solving. Yeah. So I wasn't as emotional about it then. I was like, okay, we're prepared for this. Um, okay, he has it. It's a shame, but is I, it yeah, I think I think I think he'll be fine. Is that's the way I that's the way that's the way I process. Uh -huh. I don't process bad news. Like it's mm. it's that that's just my mentality. I'm a very positive person. That's good. Um, and so I was like, okay, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. And I convinced myself that he'll be fine. Um, and then I'm I went into of, yeah, I like moved on kind of thing. Um, in terms of that space, so I didn't feel like I didn't panic. Like each time I looked at him, I thought, you know, he looks fine. He looks fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> like you know. <laughs> There were times when he was young where he might be crying for no reason. Mm -hmm. And I have to make ask the question, like, is Could he having a be, crisis yeah. or is he just being a kid? Um, and yeah, like, so you do have to ask those questions. Mm. But I, I never felt, I, I didn't feel fear at that stage. Mm. Like, I didn't feel it. Mm. Uh, I felt disappointed. Yeah. I felt like my whole world was like crashing in. Um, yeah, I felt disappointed. Oh gosh, I felt disappointed in myself. I felt disappointed in God. I felt disappointed in. I'm sorry. Mm. Can we? Can we get? To... Oh, I'm tearing it's up. Yeah, we usually. <laughs> it's true. Where's the box of? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. No, no, no. I'm I'm good now. It's oh, just like living the moment at the oh, time, yeah. you know, because I remember I was holding him, and they called. And said, "Oh, um, you know, we just we have the test results, and yeah, he's um, he's got sickle cell anemia." And I remember, my I dropped my phone. I was holding him. Mm. I dropped my phone, and I just looked at him, and I just held him, and I I just started like sobbing, mm. and I was like, "This really sucks." Because, and I was talking to God. I was like, "You told me that I would have loads of children, mm. and none of them will have it." So, what gives? Yeah. You know, I felt really disappointed in my faith as well. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, okay, no, she's let's, let's tearing up. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't know I, 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 I knew she was going to start crying at some point. I just did. Yeah. I forgot to. I'm so sorry, my dear. No, 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 no. no. Please, uh, don't be. Go. Yeah. So, so, so that was the harder part for me. Yeah, I'm not done yet. No, no, as you're, you're, as you're, I'm just helping you, yeah. you know, get, you know, no, gather yourself. So I'm, I'm gathered. I'm, I'm just, I was just saying <laughs> that just it was, gathered. it was hard as a husband to watch your wife going yes. through. Yes. Right? Like, but that, that was the hard part. I what you told me. Oh. Yeah. Because, you know, in that moment when, you know, I was feeling disappointed in the whole world and the universe, then, you know, he came and was like, babe, he's your, he's your son for a reason. Mm. You are the best mother for him because you've gone through this and you are in you're in the best position to empower him, to educate him and to strengthen him from a mother's perspective. So I believe that he's a gift to us to be able to educate and empower the world and you know people who have sickle cell anemia. That's so powerful. And in that moment I felt so empowered mm. and in that moment I knew that okay this is God's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes and that's why we called him Idara Lua which means the oh. goodness of God. Oh, man, having the right path. 
Oh my god, it goes the it goes the very long way having the right partner. I'm telling you, get on with the work with the boss. Come on. I love it. I love it. Oh man, that's that's bro. Nice one. Nice and one. those words, <laughs> those words, anytime, you know, even if Idara has the flu or a mm. cold, I remember those words. Mm. And, you know, if I have, because, I mean, it's natural for a parent to just have the fear that, oh, he's got a temperature. Yeah. Could it be, yeah. you know? But then immediately I remember what he said, what he said to me nearly six years ago now. <laughs> um, <laughs> His birthday's coming up. Yeah. Bruh. And then yeah. I know, right? Can you imagine? Um, yeah, I remember those words. And then immediately I go into prayer mode. Yeah. And I'm like, you're fine. Mm-hmm. For I know the promises God has for you, you know? Yeah. And I know that the He's plans. Well, exactly the plans and promises. Yeah. Like. So um yeah, it's just operate yeah, I, I operate from a place of faith yeah. and power. And then it helps get us through. Mm. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <clears throat> like last time you told us that he had a crisis, it just, it made, I sat down for a bit and I was like, okay, Ibro, if, if you were in their shoes mm-hmm. and you know that this could happen at any time, what would you do differently? You know, from what you're doing right now with mm-hmm. Keon. And you occurred to me that I would probably just want him to be as, you know, have as much fun exactly. as possible, yeah. as often as possible, mm-hmm. just in case he experiences pain for some time. So I just thought to myself and I was like, you know, I, I, they're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. Because every time I see the boys, they just look like they're having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> every time, like, I'm just like, okay, so I, I guess that's, that, it's, it's, they're living their, <laughs> Thank you for putting that. <laughs> These men are living their best lives. And I'm like, okay, I guess that's the best way to go about it. But then what are the practical things that as parents, you know, who are supposed to love, cherish, protect, and all of that, what are the practical things that, you know, like there's probably someone who is watching this video mm-hmm. and they just found out that, you know, their baby has sickle cell mm-hmm. anemia. What are the things you tell them about, like basic things from how they set up the home, how the dieting, um, um, nu- uh, nutrition, mm. medication, all of that. What are the basics that they must? Because I know that every child is different. Mm. But I mean, there must be some common, you know, basics that mm. yeah. each parent should know. Yeah. So from a mental perspective first, uh-huh. rather than the medical, uh-huh. it's really important, I feel, to ensure that the kids don't, feel like they're different. Mm -hmm. Right. Like it's super important to ensure that if they want to do stuff, do stuff, um, like they want to try out things, like just let them do it. Mm -hmm. And you then take steps around it to make sure that it doesn't aggravate or cause any crises. For example, swimming. Mm -hmm. Swimming is, is one whereby because you're doing a lot of anaerobic activity, there's less oxygen that'll be circulating in your body while you're in the water there's also the chance that it may get cold. So there is the chance that you might get a crisis because of swimming. But swimming is a very important life skill, Mm. right? That you don't want somebody to, because they had sickle cell, not to learn how to swim. So how do you manage it? One, like try and go swimming when it's hot, like, you know, hot day, those kind of things. Two, if like he's been in the pool for a while, tend to take a break. Mm -hmm. And so Idara, I think that's pretty much the only time he ever gets pain that I can think of is after swimming for a long time and if Mm. it was cold he says like oh my back back. hurts a bit and stuff like that we just tend to come out warm up Mm. Um, and then usually he'll be he'll be fine after that Mm -hmm. but the key thing is more not saying you can't do this because you have sickle Mm -hmm. cell it's more do it and these are the steps that we have to take to make sure that your body doesn't hurt you and so he even understands like after a while like oh now that he's a bit older it's like okay yeah let me come out let me warm up and these kinds of things yeah like so you know Sports, it doesn't mean because they have sickle cell doesn't necessarily mean that they can't do sports. Like he plays football, like he does all this stuff, make sure that they're hydrated and everything like that. And apart from that, then they're fine. So they don't grow up with this mindset of mm. I cannot do it because mm. of this this mm. thing is wrong with me. No. Like that's so we've been quite deliberate in in ensuring that he doesn't feel different Mm -hmm. in that sense Mm -hmm. okay i like that you mentioned that um you let him play football and you spoke to him about but i also wanted to know 
when he started becoming aware, how was his what first the, few, yeah. few months like? What were the conversations around that? We haven't really expressively had a conversation with him. Yeah. We've just mm. said that, you know, um, sometimes, you know, clearly swimming, for example, makes your back hurt. So when <clears throat> you're too tired, like Bola said, just come out and take a break and stuff. Because we don't, at least I don't think having it now, he would understand. Right. Um, I don't okay. think he would understand. So right. he just knows that he has to take vitamins. So I call it vitamins, like his folic acid, um, which is one of the practical things that you mm. need, like folic acid once a day. Um, he used to take vitamin C up until nine months. And then, yeah, and then nine he just takes it through his food. So okay. nutrition is a huge lots thing. Lots of fruits. Lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. Mm. And then, you know, making sure that he's hydrated. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so now the way I put it is, if your feet, are you feeling tired? You know, sometimes he's played, he's had fun. And then I'm just like, are you a bit tired? Go drink water. Or I'm just like, everybody, water, water break. Mm. <laughs> Including Tio, you know, so so he doesn't feel that he's different mm. um, from his brother, you know. Mm. It's just, you just have to take extra vitamins. Just that, And then because me as well. So I'm like, one for you, one for me. We need extra vitamins and dad, that daddy and Tio don't need, need you know, because we're all different, but we're all special in our very different ways. Yeah. yeah so it, I'm, I'm sure once difficult. he's old, I mean, yes, yeah, of course, we'll once he's to. older, we'll explain to him the medical. Yeah. Yeah. There's a book we used to, we used to read. That I don't even know where it is now. <gasps> uh, George and the Dragon. It's about a kid who George has sickle cell. Yeah. Like he's like a superhero, basically. Yeah. And like, you know, learns how to tame a dragon mm. effectively. And um, he, he was a bit too young maybe to like understand it. Like they just used to like hearing the book. So maybe something is imprinted there. Right. Uh, but who knows? Like, but we haven't had to have that conversation. And again, maybe it's just because we are blessed with a child who is not going through like crises constantly mm. and things like that. It may be different for other parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so our advice is based on our experience yeah. and the way he is. Like he's generally a very healthy kid mm -hmm. and we just make sure he takes his folic acid mm -hmm. and try and use insect repellent to avoid mosquito, malaria, yeah, mosquito yeah, yeah, yeah. oh and uh, he uses <clears throat> anti-malarials once a month yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah so yeah, avoiding so malaria, malaria is, is, avoid is malaria. yeah, yeah. Is hydration is so because once you understand the science of it which <laughs> I've had time to understand. Yeah. Um, it's basically, you know, the body struggling to um, carry oxygen, the blood struggling to carry oxygen through. You, yeah. So your whole body. just do everything you can to promote oxygen flow mm. in the body so that the cells don't become sickled. That's where the whole yeah. sickles, you know. So, um, yeah. And so nutrition, hydration, rest, rest, mm. rest, rest also is massively important. How do you manage rest with young boys? Who I rest. Always Mommy is tired. I just <laughs> no, with do him. Do you, How do you do, get do, him? Do you he, get him to rest? Oh, he rests by himself. Yeah, when really? he's tired, when he's tired, oh, he's tired. Mommy, That's it. Have a nap. Yeah. Okay. He rests by himself. Pee before going to bed. <laughs> oh, wet the bed. Okay. All right, mommy. And that's it. He's just a normal kid. It. Like honestly, <laughs> generally, like you would never know. Yeah. You mm -hmm. would never know. Mm -hmm. So, have you had any scary experiences when he had? Interestingly, not. No, not with the crisis. No. It's more with the um, bacterial infection. Bacterial infection. Just like every other yeah. kid. Yeah. That is a <laughs> bacterial infection. That was the one, that's that the one, that's one. the only time we've had to spend time in hospital, in hospital. with him. Because of bacterial infection. Can it was a imagine? crisis at all. That's amazing. Can you imagine? I didn't have a crisis. I was you, even afraid that like, oh, it might trigger a crisis. Yeah. Not at all. But it was know, infection. Do, do you know what I suspect? Yeah. And I might, obviously I might be wrong. Um, but I suspect that it is because you know what to look out for. Yeah. You have experience. And then you you guys are proactive and intentional about, mm -hmm. you know, dieting, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. taking his vitamins, yeah. keeping him hydrated, yeah. protecting him from. So hopefully, um, to any young parent who any new parent who just finds out that, you know, they're having a baby or they've had a baby who is um who has sickle cell, they would, you know, intentionally look out for these things and try yeah. to set these, you know, foundational in place, pillars in mm -hmm, place mm -hmm. just to as much as possible hopefully yeah. reduce all the, the chances, the chances. Of, yeah. yeah i really hope so i hope yeah. that that's 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 it and just to add as well you know at the baby stage i mean we didn't find this thank god but um they say that 
the um, their fingers and like joints can swell up. That's what shows that they might be having a crisis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so just, just extra things to watch for, out for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just look out for like swollen fingers, swollen toes, um, wrist, wrist. So what should one do when? And then you... for boys, their peepees as well can you know. So they should look out for that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and I mean recently. I just started taking a medication called hydroxyurea. Um, I think I'm using myself as a test. <laughs> <laughs> Before, you Before we, yeah. 